Today, God is saying, Good things are coming. There is a bright future in store for you. Positive developments are on the horizon. All walks of life have their ups and downs. Obstacles will always be there in one's life. Sadness, sorrow, and anguish are heavy. Feeling emotionally and mentally drained to have nowhere to go except sit there and stew in your own frustration, immobilization from worry and striving for excellence. Wishing for things to go better, there is more to come. Clearing out the way for the fresh energy to flood and be kind with yourself for the time being. That includes your thoughts, your actions, your emotions, and your very being. Just take things as slow or as fast as you choose. The positive is inevitably to occur. There will be better times ahead. Like this video if you have a faith in God. Sometimes God works in mysterious ways that baffle us. We must remember that God understands the larger picture. Even if we don't always understand his methods to put it another way, it's possible that you're prepared for what God has in store for you. But that doesn't mean everyone else who will be involved is if God's plan for your life is to be fulfilled. He must first operate in another person or circumstance. The puzzle won't be complete until every piece is a perfect match. To cultivate a spirit of calm, appreciation, and contentment in daily life, trusting God's timetable is essential. Get out of the way. God, don't force things or attempt to solve problems on your own. It will be exactly when you need it when your prayers are finally answered. Tap yes if you have faith in the Almighty. Truth is not what you believe it is. Truth is not what you feel it is. And truth is not what you see it is, I tell them. God's word is truth. The very essence of faith is the declaration. God, I believe what you have said. So what exactly has God said? We find that in our Hebrews reading for today, God has pledged to be with you at all times. Yet he won't abandon you to your fate either. There is no going back once the Lord has entered. We can count on his unending presence. Faith is a firm conviction in what God has spoken. Select why yes if you're all set. God is the only one who can mend your shattered heart. Therefore give it to him. When we seek help from others, we may get beyond our pain. We may unintentionally do them harm or load them down with problems they can't solve. It's possible that God is calling you to work on yourself rather than entering into a new relationship in order to break the cycle of unhealthy patterns. For confirmation, please enter Amen in the box below. The impending monumental shift in your narrative will leave you reeling your hard work and becoming your own master is going to pay off handsomely. Your whole trip up to this point has been a carefully crafted masterpiece and the next development will only serve to reinforce that notion. The magical power you already possess is going to increase thrice. The time you have right now is limited, so save for it while you call you're in the home stretch of this tunnel. You've been on a quest for illumination, but now you see that the source of that light has always been inside you. Rest easy. Your next chapter is going to put a lasting grin on your face. 
and a lifetime of delight in your spirit. Put the affirmation I am ready to shine into the text box. God says change is coming, so prepare yourself. Opportunities will come your way without you even trying to seek them out. You'll find the right person all of a sudden. Instantaneously, your condition will enhance. You'll get enough money all of a sudden to settle your debts and even treat your kids to a special treat for your benefit. I am changing the situation. Simply declare, I love you, Lord, by typing it. There is good news on the horizon for the person reading this. God has blasted the door wide open in your favor, and everything you've been waiting for will soon be yours. You're supposed to thank God and celebrate as if you already have what you desire as an act of faith. You are about to visit a new world where you will meet a version of yourself that will bring into being all of your wildest ambitions. Allow your mind and heart to relax into the change that is occurring. Concentrate on making the world a brighter place, and the path you want will become clearer. Allow your mind and heart to relax into the change that is occurring. Concentrate on making the world a brighter place, and the path you want will become clearer. Simply enter the phrase I believe in God's plan to confirm. All you need now is a little more patience and directed action, and you'll be able to collect your prizes and have your requests fulfilled. You're almost there, and your spirit guides want you to know that the additional time and effort were well worth it. Imagine that your goals have already been achieved, and let that thought fill your heart with appreciation and delight. This will hasten the day when your desires come true. You will see actual progress very soon. Have faith that the good things fate has in store for you are on their way, and that the future holds wonders you can't even imagine. You are about to be presented with a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, so be confident in your identity and embrace your uniqueness. If you're in dire need of this, enter yes now. Soon, you'll be astounded by the way circumstances have miraculously aligned in your favor, and you'll see that the present difficulties serve only to pave the way for future good. The next few months will bring wonderful opportunities for growth and change in your life. Suddenly, a new and exciting phase of your life will begin and you will discover strengths and abilities within yourself that you never knew existed. Be open to spiritual blessings and breakthroughs as you enter a new phase that will allow you to move beyond previous limitations and claim your full potential. If you are prepared, please respond with yes. So the seeds of your desires, and you will reap the rewards of those efforts in the form of the greatest joys of your life. Patience, presence, gratitude, and trust in your journey are the seeds from which fruit will grow. To confirm, please press the yes key. Just one small adjustment to your morning routine can open the floodgates to an abundance of money, joy, pleasure, freedom, 
and self-assurance how badly do you want it. Find out the secrets to attracting wealth by clicking on the link provided in the comments section below. Anyone who has faith in God should subscribe to our channel. You must now recognize one of the most important lessons you've ever been taught. You'll recognize it at the same time. You realize the strength of your own character. So keep in mind that your interests and passions are your North Star. Your spirit will lead the way and you will be encouraged to follow. Life is about to reveal itself to you. Just listen to the still voice within and in the next seven days you have the opportunity to make a significant change in your life. You can put your faith in this mind if you have the courage to pursue the things that truly matter to you and never feel guilty about doing so. You can hear God saying, I know you have been struggling for a long time spiritually, emotionally, and monetarily you're kind, and you've been hurt in a lot of different ways by other people. Many times the devil has tried to drive you completely insane. You are in the midst of a storm, despite the fact that you have been betrayed in numerous ways that's why you're still around. I stuck around with you. I will not stand by and watch any plot against you succeed. To not be afraid, I will rescue you from your predicament and bless you in the eyes of your adversaries. Keep your hope alive. Put the words I am strong in the box. If God wants you to have it, the blessing will permanently have your name on it. There is nothing that you can or cannot do to alter that as you continue living the path God wants you to go. That's why it's best not to worry too much about the specifics of how your life will progress. Everything that happens to you will serve a greater plan. As you learn to trust in God rather than physical evidence, you'll see that your current situation is actually helping you. The devil is always there when you advance to a new level in God, reminding you of your many mistakes and failures. However, God is not concerned with your past. He cares about where you're headed not where you've been. So don't let the mistakes of the past dictate how you move forward in 2023. Refuse to be held prisoner by your past and instead trust that the Lord will give you a fresh start in Him, according to His word. Simply typing I am evolving will have the same effect. When God makes a promise, we must keep it, even if it seems absurd at the time or if others ridicule, question, or doubt us. God didn't make this promise to them, He made it to you, and it's not your job to persuade anyone else of its veracity. Once you take stock of all the times God has rescued you, and carried you through your darkest hours, you'll be filled with gratitude. Through the trial, you will grow in your love for Him and your willingness to follow His commands. His overwhelming love and eternal peace, that beyond our own comprehension, is enough to offer Him all the praise, honor, and glory. Those who profess their faith in Jesus Christ by entering Amen. I know you want to put this person in their place or say something to this person about how stupid they are, but you can't do that to everyone. Sometimes the enemy will send people to try 
and divert you from your mission, and if you let them, they will succeed in taking you away from who you are and what you were meant to do. You should just keep quiet and let God take care of it. You want to do something for the Lord, so do it. Do whatever you believe needs to be done. Even if you're terrified, just take the first step. Grace is something you receive as you take that first step. The problem isn't fear itself, but an action in the face of it. Just write I am aware if that's the case. You can trust God more than you can trust yourself. And if you feel overwhelmed, give it to Him because He is greater than anything you will face this week. His hands are huge enough to contain all of your concerns, anxieties, stresses, and uncertainties in return for His serenity trust that He is working it all out for your benefit. It's impossible to influence another person's outlook or emotional state, no matter how much you wish it were otherwise or how hard you try. Feel free to enter yes if you're all set. Anyone who has faith in God should subscribe to our channel. Now God has extended the same invitation to us to enter His kingdom of trusting faith. This means we need to take extra precautions to make sure we all take advantage of the promise it holds. Though they fail to couple their belief with the word, rendering it effective, they weren't moved by what they heard because they weren't convinced. Those of us with faith are able to enter the realm of confident rest because our faith activates the promise. Praise be to God, for through His word I have been instructed also. I appreciate how you've arranged things so that I've got friends who encourage me to grow spiritually. As I go about my day, please surround me with chances to learn more about you and implement what I learn. Give me eyes to see how I can grow closer to you. Also, the people who mean the most to you, thanks be to God. Amen. Today marks the beginning of a new era in your life, one in which God promises to favor you with every good thing. I think it's time to do this. Your education is complete. You were the one who actually put in effort. It takes a lot to overcome what you did. You kept on believing even though it was challenging. You kept going even when it got tough. You pushed through it all. Your time to benefit greatly has come. Soon you will hear information that will set you on a course towards your own personal uplift, peace, and healing. Your motivation and self-assurance will be bolstered and you will learn effective techniques for strengthening your bond with the Divine. If you receive this proclamation, type I claim it to assert your right to it. Stop second-guessing yourself and your next steps. Instead, act and think as if you already have arrived at your ideal future self. Recognize that the universe is currently shaping a new course for you and have faith that the missing pieces will fall into place as you move forward. God says today, stop talking and thinking negatively. Instead, talk and think about the times I answered your prayers, including healing you, promoting you, and preventing accidents and reverse the situation by recalling your successes, you will be encouraged to press on in your faith. 
You are exactly who God created you to be instead of saying, that's not her, I find myself wanting to alter everything about my appearance, my hair, my room, my Bible pages, and my makeup routine. My mind is racing with questions like, she doesn't wear makeup, should I in an effort to improve my appearance for the world at large? Wow, her wardrobe is amazing and my calligraphy pales in comparison to hers. If you receive this proclamation, type I claim it to assert your right to it. It's a never-ending snare the devil takes pleasure in setting for young women. Well, maybe you're not enough because you don't have the same number of followers or blonde hair or a nice Bible is a common lie the devil spreads, but we must reject it and stand apart from the culture of this world. Your God will accept you, even if your walls are a jungle of color and your Bible isn't a work of art. And he wants the girl whose heart is all over the place, but still calls out to God as Abba, Father. So the next time, don't give him the victory. You can laugh because your worth is not determined by the opinions of others, but by the love and acceptance of your Heavenly Father. If you find this to be true, enter the number. Amen in the box below. One small adjustment to your morning ritual can open the floodgates to an abundance of material success, personal fulfillment, freedom, and self-assurance. Anyone who has faith in God should subscribe to our channel. Dad, you know everything that's happened to me. All that I've been through is known to you to you be the glory, for I know that even now you are at work preparing the way for my success. I retain my confidence and trust in you and anticipate to witness your great hand in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. In spite of the fact that you may compare favorably to others, remember that God created you uniquely and that you have your own set of skills and abilities to offer the world. Realizing that God created you exactly as He envisioned you will help you to stop playing those mental comparison games. If you have faith in the Lord, enter Amen. God is promising you a promotion today. I will bring you out of your darkest hour and use it to promote you. Remember that I am God and approach me with reverence and awe, my child. Frustration has led me to bring you here. I am bringing you out of constraint. With my help, you'll reach new heights of happiness and divine favor. It's finally time. Please take this time to be encouraged and joyful. I am your source, believe in me, for I am performing your every command. Simply enter the words I am abundant to make your claim. Morning prayer, may God reveal to you what is holding you back from experiencing true freedom of the soul by helping. You recognize the idols you have allowed into your life. May you give God the honor He deserves. May you attribute to Him the authority you formerly granted to others. May you thank Him for the future the adversary has threatened to take from you. Because of your great wealth in Christ, I pray that you will experience God's abundant grace, divine peace, and overwhelming joy as you move forward in life. He has released you from your chains, 
rejoice in this day of freedom. Currently, God is saying, I need you to really stay focused in the coming days you've been waiting patiently and I am about to bless you with it. The enemy is aware of this. Your friends and allies will be used as pawns in the enemy's plan to divert your attention with trivia. Keep quiet about that carry on with your day as quietly as possible and prepare for the blessing. You persevered through the darkest times and God is saying, I am so proud of you. Even when you didn't realize it, I bolstered your resolve to keep going. Many people abandoned you and gave up on you when things started going wrong. Not only did you stay alive through the storm, you flourished as a result of it. I did not make you to be like everyone else. For a purpose, I made you unique. Now I am going to reward your steadfastness. The heights I am about to take you to are beyond anything you could have imagined. Get it in my name and take it. Input yes if you must. If you are going through a tough time right now, God wants you to know, I know, I am aware of how limited your resources currently are. I know you're doing your best to handle everything that's happened recently. I know you feel like giving up sometimes, but I want you to depend on me. I'll lead the way if you let me, simply because I am the path. There is a blessing that is specifically for you. Please don't give up on me before I've had my reward. Anyone who has faith in God should subscribe to our channel. Because of your direct line to the infinite wellspring from which all things originate, you exude nothing but love, joy, and abundance. If you're sending out positive energy, it's going to come back to you tenfold. As painful as the betrayal is, God will turn it into a blessing by making you the master of a land flowing with milk and honey while your enemies look on and envy. If you let God, He will use the betrayal to bring about your destiny. To get it, just enter the number Amen in the box. It's not in your power to make it happen, so stop trying so hard to force it. I know you want it to, and I know you want to take matters into your own hands, but please stop. You can let go of your worries and your questions and your grip on the situation because he has a way your story has already been written. You will learn a lot from the signs that keep popping up and the advice you get from within over the next week. Think on what you want, not what you fear. Remember this, you are more powerful than you realized. Stay loyal to yourself. Simply enter the affirmation. I accept my power to see the effects. Remember to take care of yourself. If you're ready, then hit the yes button and forward this video to five other Christians.